Hey there, trailblazers. You know, one of the greatest things that we have open to us as we decide to use our difference to make a real change in the world is the fact that a lot of people are going to see our outer journey. They're going to see the accomplishments that we put together. They're going to see the events that we hold, the results and the impact of us choosing to show up and bring our unique gifts, talents, and strengths to the table. What most people don't get a chance to see is our inner journey. And it makes sense, right? A lot of times the things that are rewarded are people who just know what's going on or people who follow the exact right path and haven't made any mistakes along the way. And quite frankly, from what I've seen with all the people that I've talked to, the real, the real trailblazers, the real world changes out there, they're out there making mistakes and they're failing and they're getting and they're continuing to move on top of that. And that's just the way that it goes when you're choosing to choose your own path, when you're choosing to make your own impact. And so I want to slow things down here by spending some time really exploring both the outer and the inner journey. The outer journey that we typically get a chance to see and give way more space for the inner journey that comes along. And the reason for this, there's a book right now that um, it's really an audio program uh, called The Heroes Two Journey. And I, I listened to it on Audible by a suggestion from someone. And they talk about, some of you may be familiar with The Hero's Journey, which talks about it's Joseph Campbell's uh, journey. And from, from the book, uh, The Hero with a Thousand Faces. And typically when I hear people talk about that, they're usually talking about the outer journey that the hero has to go on, the initial em embarkment on, a, on an adventure, a call to adventure, the trials and tribulations and the challenges and the guides and mentors along the way. But what made this interesting was that it actually talked about two journeys happening simultaneously. The outer journey, which we see, and then the inner journey, which is often the key to allowing the final victory on the outside world. So today, and actually just going forward, I just want to make sure that we slow down to see who does the person need to become in order to create the external results? Who do you need to be on the inside? Who do you need to become on the inside in order to, to create the level of impact that you are uniquely, uniquely here to do? And here goes a fun thing about all this here. For me, it's not about becoming someone else. It's not about taking on someone else's way of being or someone else's way of, of living. Instead, it's about the journey to become more you than you've ever been in your life. And using that and letting that fill you, fuel you, and free you to make your highest impact in the world. We're just getting started. Click on the link below to watch the full conversation and go to niyamaashan.com slash tribe to get additional resources and exclusive invitation to tribe-only events. Journey on.